I'm Jimmy Warren. I'm a member of the Oglala Lakota Nation. I'm also a Sun Devil, and I brought the warrior philosophy to Sun Devil football as a member of the Rose Bowl Championship team of 1987. My family's been in Tempe for over 40 years, and to be able to get a scholarship to play at ASU, as a true fan, that was a dream come true. Sun Devils were at last, Rose Bowl bound. One thing I can guarantee you, you only get these if you win the Rose Bowl. Well, obviously 1987 started off with a bang with the Rose Bowl Championship. I went to the Hula Bowl 10 days later, and shortly after that, I was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. After my experience in the NFL, a casting director said, hey, do you want to be on a TV show? So suddenly, my Hollywood career began. I was always raised to give back and to remember where I came from. So with all my experiences in professional football and academics, I wanted to somehow create uh, something to give back to Indian kids. And that's why I have the Warrior Foundation. The message is uh, similar in terms of what I learned regarding the medicine wheel philosophy, having balance in life, and a positive message to give back to these kids. That's my son of a story. What is yours? Woo! the Arizona State starting offense and to tackle the chief Jim Warren, a 300 pounder from Tempe. Homeboys all raised in the state of Arizona via McDaniel, Thomas, Kalis, and Warren. Washington Huskies, Don James brought these uh, Sun Devils offensively in the line, the best he's ever coached against. They are solid. Get help in school. Now, I'm a big, strong guy. I'm not as strong as I used to be, but I was a big, powerful guy when I was playing football. But now, that's nothing compared to the power that I have of the mind. Right now, I'm a proud Lakota man with opportunities. I bought my dream home in San Diego. This is an opportunity to come learn from not only athletes, but other Native leaders. The draw here, obviously, for Native Vision is the sports, but we also discuss education, culture, life skills, and that's why I'm involved. If it was just purely athletics, I doubt I would be involved. As an Oglala Lakota, I was always taught of ancestors, and Black Elk was a spiritual leader of our people. And after the Wounded Knee Massacre of 1890, he indicated it would take seven generations to heal our circle, our medicine wheel. And uh, the seventh generation is the kids of today, giving them some skills and tools to take with them so that they can influence future generations after that. Put them up, movie lovers. It's time for the max fight of the month. Substitute. Substitute. I like, I like Tom Berenger. I like Tom Berenger. I like Tom Berenger. The star is a substitute teacher in this rough neighborhood is fighting some rather gargantuan gentleman. He's fighting that big boy and he just put some karate moves on him. Little guy taking on a big guy. I'd like to welcome you. Uh, to our hearing entitled Stolen Identities. <clears throat> thank you very much, Mr. Warren. Please proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and the committee. I'm, I've been fortunate to act in a few movies. I don't really consider myself an actor, but I'm in movies. And that's when they need a big Indian, they give me a call. And uh, again, that's some of the media misrepresentation. And of course, people go, why do you do those roles? Because I would never have acted and gotten an opportunity to infiltrate the Hollywood system, is what I say is for the next generation of actors will have a better experience than I did in terms of those stereotypes. One thing about Twilight is that it has opened a lot of doors. The people before me, you know, the Graham Greens, Jim here, uh, Rodney Grant, they had to struggle. The football I mean, game at San Diego State as a spectator with my son, Ryan. And uh, he was about seven years old at the time, and then the, at the time the Aztec mascot was still part of the university. And he came running by in his outfit and blowing his uh, conch shell. And he goes, Dad, there's an Aztec. And I go, no, son, that's a white guy doing a very bad job of imitating an Aztec. And, uh, you know, it was an interesting dichotomy to, in, in that sense of sitting there, you know, wanting to be a fan, but then, again, explaining some of the cultural inappropriateness. I would uh, venture to say that I'm the first Oglala Lakota tribal member that's a member of the NFL alumni that has been in this room. So I have therefore discovered you. I don't see anybody from other communities protesting that they're not mascots. Why don't we have the black skins, white skins, brown skins, and yellow skins included? And the seventh generation is here. Black Elk, after the Wounded Knee Massacre, said it would take seven generations to heal the circle. And those are the youth of today. 
and they're going to be great leaders someday. And I'm a firm believer that one of those from that generation will be president of this United States. So that's my dream. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's a, um, a very appropriate way to close.